Hey everyone, welcome to Yochi, I'm Marissa, and today I've got a little energy routine for you that I call brain optimization. So this one's really great if you're feeling mentally blocked or you're working through some kind of challenge and need to make a big decision, or if you just wanna make your brain work better. So meditation is one of the best things you can do if you want to create more elasticity in your brain and better brain function. And what I love about Qigong is that it's a moving meditation. So we get to get a little exercise, a little breathing, and meditation in at the same time. So I designed this routine specifically to balance your left and right brain and to wake up your body's energy. So find your spot and join me. Let's optimize our brains. Let's begin by waking up our brain. Bring your hands to your forehead and lightly tap your fingers on your forehead like you're playing the piano. Tapping in this way brings a rush of blood to your forebrain. Take some nice deep breaths here and then hold your hands still and press in. Make sure your fingertips are on your forehead covering the frontal eminences, the prominent bones on your forehead. Take three more deep breaths in through the nose and out the mouth as you press here. These points are neurovascular holding points and pressing on these points trains your nervous system to keep the blood in the forebrain, which helps us to think more clearly. Now, using your 10 dragons, your 10 fingers, comb through your scalp. This invigorates all the nerve receptors in our head and is great for stimulating relaxation in the brain. Take some nice deep breaths, combing all the way from the hairline to the base of your neck. Good. Now drop your hands down and notice how your head feels. And we'll begin with some energy warm-ups to wake up the nervous system. So slowly begin to turn from your hips and your waist and allow the arms to knock over the lower abdomen and lower back. The spinal cord is an extension of the brain. So if you want to optimize your brain, it's important to stretch out the spine and keep the spinal cord fluid moving. This movement is an invigorating spinal rotation. So relax the shoulders and move from your hips and waist. The arms just follow along. Feel the muscles in your back warming up. Feel the nice rotation in the spine as the arms stimulate the waist and lower back. This is called knocking on the door of life and is a common exercise that you'll see in China practiced by people of all ages. Studies show that consistent exercise can generate new cells and blood vessels in the brain. So breathe into the movement, keep moving from your center, from the hips and waist, and feel your spine enlivening and awakening. Slow the movement down, come back to the center, and notice how your body feels. Now begin to shift your hips right and left. Relax your shoulders and allow the spine to flow side to side in a lateral motion. You can imagine that there is a piece of glass in front of you and behind you and you're shifting the weight back and forth between the glass. This exercise is called dog wags its tail and targets the right and left sides of the spinal joints, which opens the spine in a lateral direction. Take some nice deep breaths. Keep relaxing into the movement, wagging your tail back and forth. Feel any pent up tension releasing. Feel that warmth deep inside your spinal column invigorating your nervous system and brain. Then slow it down, come back to center, and notice how your body feels. Next, make a light fist with your hands. Inhale, arch the back. And exhale, round the back. Draw your elbows together. Inhale and look up. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under and move your chin towards your chest. Relax the hips as you arch 
and exhale, tuck the tailbone and squeeze the buttocks. Tucking the pelvis helps to pump energy up the spinal cord to the brain. This is called spinal cord breathing and opens the joints in the spine and creates a smooth flow of chi through the nervous system. Inhale, feel the front of your spinal joints opening. And exhale, round the back, feel the back of your spinal joints opening. Inhale, arch the back and smile through your spine. Exhale, Smile with joy and gratitude. Last time, inhale, relax into it. And exhale, relax the arms down and notice how your body feels. Let's shake it out. Shake out the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders and the spine. Just relax the hips and shake through the whole body. Allow the breath to be natural and enjoy the freedom of movement. Shaking is one of the fastest ways to clear stress from the body. The stress hormone cortisol can kill brain cells and chronic stress can cause memory loss. So shake off whatever you don't need, release and let it go. You can smile while you shake to enhance the effects of the movement. Smiling sends a message to the brain to relax and releases feel good chemicals. So smile as you shake and enjoy the movement. Good, slow it down, come to stillness, and notice the rebound of wonderful pleasant sensations rushing through your body, nourishing your brain. Now step your feet shoulder width apart and press your palms together at your heart center in prayer. Press the knuckles of the thumbs into the center of your chest and take a deep breath. This will help to center your body's energy and relaxes nervous tension or any kind of stress that accumulates in the heart center. Now take both hands up over the head and reach up through the fingers. Then bend the knees and come down. Feel grounded and connected to the earth. Inhale as you stand tall and open the arms. We say heart to the universe. Let your heart expand and open, and then exhale, come down. Bring that heart chest center towards the earth. Again, stand tall, open the heart to the universe, feel strength through the spine, openness and freedom. And then exhale, bend the knees, feel strength in your legs. This time, inhale, rise up, open the chest, and then exhale, fold over into a forward bend. Keep your legs as straight as you can and just hang here for a moment. Feel that rush of blood moving into your head. Inversions are a great way to bring fresh blood into the brain. Take some slow, deep breaths, relax the neck and shoulders, and feel a nice stretch in the backs of your legs and lower back. You can shift onto the toes and back onto the heels. You can ragdoll your arms, whatever feels good. Just hang here for another couple breaths. Then release the arms, round the back, and slowly roll up, allowing the head to come up last. Now bring your palms to face the heart. Then rotate your hands and push out in front of you arms open to the sides, sink down. Then inhale, move your hands back in front of the chest, standing up tall. Exhale, bend your knees as you push out to the sides, sinking into a strong stance. Then inhale, the legs straight, palms face the heart center. Bread the fingers, feel a nice stretch through the lines of tension in the arms. This Qigong exercise purifies the heart. The heart and brain are intimately connected. Whenever we do what we love is the essence of our heart, and those who have a clear purpose in life have been shown to have a decreased instance of Alzheimer's. The key is to increase the frequency of positive experiences and relax into the flow. 
So enjoy the movement and smile as you push, expanding the heart outward. And inhale, be open to receive. As you open the arms, extend the chi through the palms and bend the knees. Then relax the wrists and radiate love into your heart. This time, hold the arms out to your sides and sink down into a horse stance. This is a holding posture for the heart called the Garuda. The Garuda is a mythical red bird that symbolizes the sun. When our consciousness is bright like the sun and our mind is clear, we can easily soar to new heights and have mental breakthroughs. So take some nice deep breaths and feel your energy field expand like the wings of a Garuda. Feel the strength in your legs and your arms. Feel your heart open and your mind sharp and bright. Then relax the hands back to your center and turn your palms to face the earth. Step the feet shoulder width apart and then float both arms up shoulder height and then drop them down. Inhale as the wrists move up and out and exhale, sink the elbows down and in. Relax the shoulders and feel a wave-like quality rolling through your spine and out your arms. Once you know the movement externally, you can start to move internally by moving from the center, from your lower Dantian. As the arms go up, the hips sink back and as the arms come down, the hips move forward synchronizing the breath with the movement. Inhale up and exhale down. Move with relaxation. These flowing movements are a meditation in motion that sink the mind into the present moment while the body circulates internal energy. Meditation increases cerebral blood flow and activates certain parts of the brain to improve concentration, focus, and mood. So tune into the movement. Relax your mind and move with effortless flow. Inhale up and exhale down. The more fluid you are with the movement, the more you increase energy circulation. The more you circulate healthy chi, the better you feel. Now we will do the movement one arm at a time. So just go back and forth. Bring the right arm up and down, and then the left arm up and down. This is what we call cross training for your brain. Moving one arm at a time helps to synchronize the left and right brain and balances yin and yang energy in the body. Inhale as you bring the right arm up, Exhale as you bring the left arm up. Relax your hips and feel a little bit of a figure eight movement through the hips and the waist as one arm comes up and the other arm floats down. Moving back and forth guides the brain back to its natural healthy balanced state. Then come back to the center, the hands face the earth and we'll expand this flow into the back of the body. So circle the right arm all the way around and the right palm comes face up, then rotate the wrists and both palms float down. Now left arm, big circle around. Inhale, the left palm face up, rotate the wrist and palms sink down. So one arm circles up and around, palms face down and relax. This is called Guan Yin Draws a Rainbow. Feel how this opens the shoulders nest and circulates energy on the right and left sides. Then circle the left arm, gather some energy to the left side of the body, float it up and float down. Big circle with the right hand, creating a rainbow of energy to the right side. And then turn and float down. Relax and flow. Keep balancing yin and yang energy in the front, back, right, and left sides. Good. Do that one more time. Inhale and gather chi. 
float the arms down and let's flow into the next movement. Inhale, press the right arm out, circle around to the face and exhale, drop it down to the lower abdomen. Then inhale, bring the right arm up and exhale, push the chi down into the lower abdomen. There's a small twist and turn in the hips and the waist. Turn the hips to the right, left arm up and let it flow down the body. Rotate the hips to the left and right hand flows down. This movement brings chi flow from the head into the lower abdomen, down the water pathway of the body. When too much energy gets stuck in the head, this creates heat or tension in the mind and blocks chi flow in the brain. Inhale up and exhale down. Allow the arms to move like a waterfall, creating a smooth flow of chi through your mind, heart, and down to your center. When the chi flows, your body is healthy, your mind and emotions feel centered and balanced. Good. Now bring your hands palm facing palm and we'll move into the next flow. Sweep your right hand down the inside of the left arm. Then switch. Sweep the left hand down the inside of the right arm. Keep sweeping back and forth. This is called repulse the monkey. The monkey is a metaphor for an overactive mind. The hands are guiding chi through the heart meridian that runs down the inside of the arm. This time, drop the right arm down, circle behind you, and push down the left arm. Then switch, left arm circles around, and press down the right arm. Keep moving through it, circulating chi front back and down that heart meridian. Take a deep breath, right arm circles around and presses through, using mental focus, breath and movement to calm the mind and increase the flow of chi. Draw that arm back and push down through the arm into the palm. Just feel and sense the energy circulating and flowing. Inhale that arm back. Exhale, push through. Relax into it. Now make the movement a little bit smaller. Pushing back down just the inside of the arm. And begin to gather a chi ball in your palms. Just keep moving your hands back and forth and feel the energy in your palms. Then you can start rolling the ball continuously from top to bottom and bottom to top. Like a lion playing with a ball. Then bring that energy ball to the center and pulse a couple times on the edge of the ball. Just feeling the chi between your hands. Now hold the ball and on an inhale, slowly raise it up through your torso and out the crown of the head. Hold the breath here for a moment. And then exhale, arms open into a T shape, palms face forward, then rotate the wrists and relax the hands down. Gather a chi ball. Raise that ball of light up through your central channel, nourishing the brain. Hold the breath in and exhale, arms expand open, relax the shoulders and release down. Last time, inhale, gather the chi and draw that chi up through the spine, out the crown of the head. Hold the breath, connect to the universe and exhale, expand expand the energy to all of nature around you and then palms face up in front of the lower abdomen and inhale expand your arms as if you are embracing a large tree relax your shoulders elbows and wrists allow space under the armpits so that the chi can circulate from the torso out through the hands tuck your chin in slightly and feel the length going up the back of the neck. The head feels light. 
Make sure that your knees are facing right over the toes so that they aren't collapsing inwards. And soften the hips. Allow the tailbone to gently sink towards the earth. Feel the strength of your legs while at the same time relaxing and grounding down into the earth. The breath is soft, smooth, and even. When we relax the chest, the breath will naturally sink into the lower abdomen. Finally, touch the tongue to the roof of your mouth to connect the energy circuit. The whole body is relaxed, standing with minimum effort. The crown of your head is connected to the sky above, as if it were suspended by a string from the heavens, your lower body firmly rooted into the earth. You are a conduit of energy. If you feel too much discomfort at any time, you can rest the hands down in Wuji posture. And then when you're ready, bring them up again. Standing meditation is said to be the single most important and widely practiced form of Qigong. This practice cultivates our mental concentration, body awareness, stability, and internal strength. The brain is a highly evolved network of energy that adapts to where you place your attention. When we bring our attention into the body, we bring our attention into the present moment. So relax the eyes. The gaze is both inside and outside, allowing the two realms to merge into one seamless experience. Wherever you find any unnecessary tension in your body, just allow it to sink and dissolve into the earth. Like a tree, you can feel your feet rooted and connected to the earth. Your arms are like the branches, absorbing light from the sun. Breathe all of that energy into every pore of your skin and feel it gather in your lower abdomen. Then slowly drop your arms down with the palms facing up and we'll finish by centering our energy. Inhale the right arm around and exhale, draw it down the center line of the body. Inhale the left arm up, gather heavenly chi and exhale down to your lower abdomen. The brain is one part of a whole network of our body, mind, and spirit and is directly influenced by the environment around us. This exercise is a way to gather energy and bring it back to our center. So inhale, connect to the infinite heavens and exhale, integrate the mind, heart, and body together. Last time, moving with awareness. And exhale, center your energy in your lower abdomen. Then interlace the web of the thumbs, step your feet together. Bend the knees slightly and allow the body to rock and sway like a bamboo in the wind. Don't control the movement, just observe the amazing intelligence and oneness between your mind and your body its natural ability to come back into balance and harmony. This is your living, breathing, resilient body and your best friend. Smile at your brain. Smile at nature all around you and take this feeling of balance and relaxation into the rest of your day. <laughs>